Hello folks and welcome to the channel. I got another creation kit tutorial for you guys today, but first let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like the following content, make sure to smash, smash that like button. And then go ahead and share it on your social media. When you share it on your social media, follow me on that frog app. Link is in the description. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that. Click the notification bell for all. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below the video. And I'll get back to you because I read all my comments, guys. Those are all the free and easy things that you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look down in the description. Use the Ko-Fi link to do a one-time tip or join as a channel member, guys. All right, let's get into this. Roll that intro. Okay, guys. Uh, it's been a little while since you work since I've worked on this uh, follower tutorial series. Now I'm gonna do the head records for this, and this is very important that you have to know this. The reason I'm starting with the in-game portion of this is, yeah, you have to make absolutely certain which race your follower is gonna be. So. If you don't know what it is, get back in the game to your test character that you've made with the follower's head. And you open up your console by clicking the uh, tilde key, which is the key on your keyboard to the left of the one key. And then you type in show race menu. Just like that, and it will come to there and go to your race and she is a nord and i'm going to go ahead and take a picture of this uh for future reference just like that and i'm done so i'm going to go ahead and cancel this out and we'll go into the creation kit and get started and like i said it's been a while since i worked on this follower tutorial if you've been following it you will see down here on my toolbar it has been a little while so i got the plugin loaded up so we're gonna do we're gonna do the head record so go to your character in the object window here and expand this and go to head part now last time we did the hair for it and if we open this up we see the valid races or head parts human and vampire so that's cool but we need a head so i'm going to type in head here and this will give you all of the different heads now the reason i say that you need to know what race it is because if you are using let's say an imperial you when you open this record up it'll say head parts imperials and vampires so that's kind of important because that will come this will come into play later in the uh npc record that we're going to make but my character is a nord so we're going to open this up and we're going to go ahead and rename this id here to female head nord and we're going to just put uh, Cassandra, female head Cassandra, click off the playable button, don't need to change name. Now, I'm going to use a high poly head, so what I want to do is, first thing I want to do here is, is down here in the model uh, thing here, I'm going to click edit, and then I'm going to click edit again. Now, if you 
followed the unpacking tutorial for the resources, mods, and stuff that I did earlier, you go to the mod that has, you go to the mod folder that has the head, which is the high poly heads, which comes up as KL. And we're going to open this and we're going to just choose the female head right here. So push OK. OK. And the tree, we're going to open this up and we have to do the same thing. Go into the meshes, go down to KL. And you're going to want to pick the female head tree. Next part, it's real important. You have to you have to get the right race morph charge end morph. So race morph here as actors, and we're going to open this up. And this will make you go do the same thing over again. It's not that big of a deal. It's okay. And we need the race morph. So you want the female head races tree right here. And then the charge end morph, same thing, open it up. And you're going to want to go ahead and get the proper charge end morph, which is this one is the female head charging and open that up just like that. And that's about all you have to do for that, guys. Just remember to make it so uh, uncheck the playable. Make sure it's on female. And make sure it's the valid race. If it's like, if you're doing like an Imperial or a Dark Elf or a High Elf, you you should copy that, re that particular record. Dupe that particular record. So when you're done with this part, all you have to do, you don't need to do a texture set right now. Just push OK. And push Yes. Now, the reason I say you don't have to do a texture set right now is, is that it, it will point towards the default texture set. If you really, really want to, want to mess with it you can go ahead and open this texture set file here and type in skin head and then find the the matching skin head in my case it's nord you can put that in there just push ok and make sure to save your mod and that is pretty good now, remember, guys, if you like the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And share it on your social media. When you share it on your social media, follow me on that frog app. Link is in the description. And if you've got any, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or comments, just leave them down below the video and I'll get back to you because I read all of my comments. Those are all the free and easy things that you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look in the description. Use the Ko-Fi link to join as a, one, join as a channel member or do a one-time tip. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching and remember, until next time, keep your sword sharp. Don't be a milk drinker. Always watch the skies, traveler.